Hi, I'm Arif Modi and I'm an Alexa skill developer. I've developed three skills of my own, Kids Advice, Meal Buddy, and Wheel of Fun. Today, I'll be showing you how to create your own Hello World Alexa skill. First of all, what are Alexa skills? Think of Alexa skills as apps on your phone. All phones have core apps already installed, like maps, calculator, etc. Well, in the same way, Alexa has a set of core capabilities referred to as skills. Some of Alexa's abilities include playing music, answering questions, and providing weather forecasts. You know how Apple allows third-party developers to create apps for iOS? Well, the Alexa Skills Kit allows developers to build new skills for Alexa. Customers can then access these skills by invoking them. For example, you can invoke my skill Wheel of Fun by saying, Alexa, open Wheel of Fun. Thankfully, Amazon has made it pretty simple to create your own Alexa skill, so let's dive in. So here we are in the Alexa developer portal, the Amazon developer portal, and here at developer.amazon.com. So you'll need an account if you want to create an Alexa skill. And if you don't have one already, it's super easy to create one. Just go to sign in and create your Amazon developer account. Now let's go to Alexa and, oops, what? Okay, yeah, Alexa skills kit. And here is where all of your skills should come up. If this is your first time creating a skill, you probably won't have any in here, but you should still have this create skill button and let's click on it. Okay, enter your skill name. Since we're creating a hello world skill, I'm just gonna name mine cool hello world. And I'm going to keep my default language as English US, although you can change it if you would like. Choose a model to add to your skill. There's lots of different models you can choose, like flash briefing, smart home, music, video, baby activity, and meetings. Hello world isn't really any of these, so we're just going to stick with custom. Choose a method to host your skills backend resources, like basically the code. So if we were to choose provision your own, that would mean creating an AWS account, creating a Lambda function, and putting all of our code in there. But if we choose Alexa hosted, as we are going to in this video, then the code can be part of the Amazon Developer Portal, and we don't have to go through the whole process of AWS and Lambda functions and all that stuff. Although, you still need to use Lambda, although Amazon does it for you behind the scenes. So let's stick with Alexa hosted and create skill. So this will take a minute, creating the interaction model and everything else. Okay, so we are done. Build successful. So now there's a lot of different stuff in our interaction model, and let's go through it. First, we have our invocation name, which is what the user needs to say to start our skill. So in most cases, your skill invocation name will just be like your skills name, like in my case, I'm just going to keep it cool, hello world. If you want to change it, you can, but I would suggest keeping it the same. So we don't need to change anything about the invocation name. And then there's these intents. So like, what are intents? What's this? Oh, okay, whatever. 
So, um, what are intents? Let's say I have this hello world intent. It has all of these values. Hello, how are you? Say hi world, say hi, hi, all these values. So if the user, while in our skill, says one of these values, the skill will map the user's utterance, what he said, to the hello world intent. And since we know that based on like what intent the skill goes into, we can run certain code. Like in this case, if it goes into the hello world intent, then we want the skill to say hello. But if the user said stop, then it would go into the stop intent and it would just close the skill. So we don't need to change any of our intents because since we chose Alexa hosted, it automatically creates a hello world skill, which is pretty good. So normally, after making all our changes, we would have to do save model and then build model, but we don't even need to make any changes, so we are good. Let's go to the test tab to test our skill. Okay, so you should come to a screen that looks like this. Right now it says test is disabled for the skill and off. Just change it to development. You can also choose live if your skill has already been published to the Alexa skill store. So let's see here. So I'm going to say open and then my skill invocation name, which is cool. Hello. world, And now I'm going to click enter. And it says, welcome. You can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? So now I am going to go with hello. And it'll say hello world and it'll stop the skill. Now notice that if I say open cool hello world. And instead I say help then it'll say a different message. You can say hello to me, how can I help? Because since we said help, that's one of the intents in our interaction model and help is one of the values of the amazon.help intent. So it went into the help. Now let's say we wanna change this. We don't want it to say hello world. We want it to say, hello world. I think Mars is the coolest planet, even though I like Earth. Or let's make it simple. Hello world, Earth is the best. Let's go to the code tab. So we get all this code. Now, if we had chosen provision your own, we wouldn't have even gotten anything here because we did not choose Alexa hosted. But we did choose Alexa hosted, so we have our code here, and that makes it a lot easier than going to AWS. So that speech is in the hello world intent, so we need to find the hello world intent. And we have the speech text, which right now is hello world. So I want to change it to hello world. Earth is the best. And now I'll save it. Saved and deploy. So while it's deploying, it's basically just pushing our code to the Lambda function for us. So that's the neat thing about Alexa hosted. Okay, deployment successful. Now let's test it. Now the message should be different if this skill worked. If the like change in code worked. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Open. Cool. Hello. Oops. Hello world. Okay. This still says the same message because we didn't change this. But now if we say hello says, hello world, earth is the best. So now you can just change this as like much as you want until you finally decide on a message that you think is the best. And so then you're done with your skill. Now, if you feel like publishing your skill to the Alexa skill store, 
what you would do is you would go to distribution you would have a name descriptions uh, example phrases icons all this good stuff there's a few more things here and then once you're done with all of that you will go into certification First, it'll check, do you have everything? And since I literally did not enter anything in, I have 14 fixes required. Then, a brief functional test to see does your skill work. And then, submission, where you can click submit for review. I cannot because I still have a lot of issues, but you should be able to. And then, yeah, you have your own skill on the Alexa Skill Store if it gets published. So, yeah, woohoo! I hope you now understand how to create an Alexa skill. If you do create an Alexa skill and publish it to the Alexa skill store, leave its name in the comment section below and I'll be sure to try it out. Check out my website at awesomearov.com or follow me on Twitter at awesomearov. Check out my other videos on how Alexa works and implementing localization in your Alexa skill. I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.